Tim, you were disappointed that we folded on Tuesday night. How would you assess the performance this evening? Well, listen, we were, we were in the game to the end, you know. I mean, even in the last kick, if, if we slide it anywhere past Johnson, Baker Richardson's in, you know what I mean? You've you got to miss him out. Listen, we had the best chance of the game until the goal. Uh, JJ goes clean through. We had other, a couple of other situations. Um, yeah, I think McQueen flipped one round a corner in the first half and got in down their right-hand side. Their left hand side, sorry, I was right. And I thought we did okay. Our set plays, you know, Petrasso's delivery was better. Um, our movement was better. We got on the end of some stuff, caused problems um, for them. Listen, they've won seven on the belt at home, so they are gonna, they're they causing teams at their top end problems. They're a good side. Um, and, you know, the lad who scores the winner is, is, is way better than this division. Um, the kid Armstrong is way better than this league. Um, so, you know, they've, they've done a great job to be able to get him in. You know, from Salford, he, I'm sure he's on a few, Bob. So, you know, good re good recruit. Um, but I thought we, we battled and stuck to our task. Um, you know, everything we didn't do <coughs> at, at Kings Lynn. And listen, when people were asking, where's the interview? Were you, you know, my interview got pulled because I was that gutted um, that, you know, whatever, it didn't go out. But um, the bottom line is, I, I said to him, listen, I thought we stuck at it. We were in the game. I thought we put our bodies on the line, worked hard. You know, I'm sure our stats will be back up, but the bottom line is we found a way to get beat again. Their goal comes from us not tracking, I think it was Shelton, off the edge of the box, the six. He gets, they slide him in, he gets to the byline, uh, and we're too late on parade getting our block in or tracking. Cuts it back and the kid, the kid sticks it in, which is what he's been doing you know, for, for a long period of time for himself. Ultimately disappointed with the result, but um, you know, was the performance better than Kingsland? Yeah, but... Jesus, I mean, it didn't have to take a lot to be better. But you know, listen, we've got Yeovil on Tuesday. I just said to him, now, what, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to go Kings Lynn or are you going to go and have a go like you did tonight? You know, and we scored the first goal. You never know. We scored the first goal against Halifax. We ended up winning. You know, so listen, it, it, it was a better performance, but ultimately, you know, we get beat. I was going to say that the start up until the goal was yeah. a very, very yeah. even game. Chances uh, for both sides. That must be the pleasing aspect. And as you say there, if we do manage to get ourselves ahead, you would think it will help the boys' confidence. And as you say, we can grow into a game like we did against Hannafax. Yeah, I mean, the, the first goal in, in, you know, I mean, we all know the stats, etc. But the first goal is usually pretty key, you know, um, in, in getting a result of some sort. Um, you know, we had a couple of chances to get our noses in front. Um, and, you know, listen, whatever, good goalkeeping or whatever, call it what you want, but we didn't take them. And um, it ended up costing us. But um, in terms of commitment, I thought they'd get everything. A couple of lads who haven't, you know, came into the team tonight who haven't played for a period of time. And listen, unfortunately, that's that's where I'm shopping. You know what I mean? I, these kids ain't played for for periods of time. They've got some CVs. You know, Tommy Adeloy, he's been up in Scotland. He's played in this division for Dagenham, Ebbsfleet. He knows his way around the National League. You know, young Taylor, he's played in he's played in League One and Two for South End. Um, you know, so you know that's that's where I'm at at the minute with it. You know, there's there's, there's lots of lads out there that you know, just getting them in. Going into Tuesday night, have we got to now try and build on the positive aspects that you listed there, and yeah. now try and take the game to Yeovil? Oh well, yeah, we're at home. We've, we've got that's what we try and do in every game. You know, we try we're trying to win. You know, and obviously we're not. Um, but you know that is what we're setting out. I ain't setting out to try and lose one nil or two nil or whatever, or get a nick a draw. I'm trying to win the game, um, and that's what I've done ever since I've been a manager. And I've always rocked up and tried to win the football match. Um, and you know, at Solly Hall, that happened a lot. Here, it hasn't. And um, you know, listen, rec recruitment and coaching are the, the two key elements in a football club in terms of the playing side of it. Um, you know, we, the, the lads get drilled in terms of everything. You know, all the restarts, sort of de defensive shape, attacking patterns. Nah, listen, do, do we do we do what what it says on the tin at time? No, not you know, people forget or whatever that, and they shouldn't. But the recruitment side of it, you know, we brought a lot of loans in, two two permanents, the two centre backs who I thought were, were excellent tonight. You know, Ben Richards coming back in, we missed him. You know, young young Cofellas did well, but we missed we missed Ben. He's, Big and powerful and quick. Um, so, listen, that's that's where I'm at with it. So, I'm, you know, we'll go back to the drawing board and, and try try again. 
I've already, I know what Yeovil do, I know how they play, you know, I've watched all their games, so I know where I'm at with that. It's just, can we, have we got better men per, per, per position than they have? Just lastly, Tim, you introduced F1 Mason Clark off the bench and Courtney Baker Richardson. How do you think they impacted the game and well, do you think they've given you a bit of a headache maybe well, going into Tuesday? Listen, Courtney, he's a nine, he wants to play down the middle. He's, he hasn't played hardly any football at all before he came in. He had um, gr uh, kicking muscle rep fem operation. Um, he's been really struggling physically in terms of uh, recovering from 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 matches. You know, put it, when he puts a shift in, it takes him a, a long time to recover. So he's another one. You know, you're bringing in who hadn't been playing. Little uh, young Efren, listen, he, he's going to be a really good player, but he's he's still a pup. He's been. He seems to have been here since. Dinosaurs are on the earth, you know. He's, ever since I can remember, Efron's been here, but uh, he's still only a pup. Um, and he's got undoubted quality, that, you know, needs a little bit more end product at times. You know, Petrasso's probably in there at the moment because he's been scoring and, and creating a few chances with some good crosses. Um, so they're two similar types. Um, so yeah, that, listen, they, they did well. They did, they did well when they came on. Tommy Adeloy worked hard, you know, for the team. But uh, in, at the end, when you, you brush all that dust away, you know, we still find ourselves short in a game.